What is up my fellow prod coders? Welcome to this video and today we are going to do the setup for our Yelp front end project. So head over to your terminal and head over to the location where you want to create the project. So in my case this would be under slash dev slash react and in order to uh, you know create the application you of course need to have npm installed for your information i have npm 6.10.3 installed of course you can run with a different version it's not an issue so let's get started uh, we want to say npx create react app yelp front end and what this does is it says uh, hey please execute the program create react app and um, bootstrap a new boilerplate react application and call this application yelp frontend and this might take quite a while because it has to resolve a lot of different dependencies but everything uh, works out of the box this is pretty nice so done in 14.11 seconds that's pretty okay let's go into the directory so as you can already see from the command line we already have a local git repository here um, this is pretty cool um, but let's first open it up in a code editor like vs code for example and here we are so we have a pretty standard react application here let's run this to see whether everything is cool should be because this is a really popular project but just to see how the initial boilerplate project looks like nice so let's go back and i previously already mentioned that we already have a local git repository and before we do anything in here we should first wire this local git repository up with some remote repository on github for example so let's just quickly do that this is super easy so go to your github account uh, click the new button here and create a meaningful repository name and also good description because otherwise you might not remember like exactly what it was so let's just say uh, yelp clone in react you can make the repository public or private totally depends on you um, just make sure that if you make it pr public that you do not commit like any API credentials later on to this repository but I'm going to talk about that later on so let's create the repository nice and they even have a description here on how to wire a local repository up with the one we just created so all we have to do is go to this section here and just execute this command and what this does is it basically tells our local repository hey by the way you're a local repository but there's also a remote origin and this remote origin uh, is the repository on github we just created so you can see it in here right so it's it, it's located at github and it's at the upfrontend.git okay and since we already have some changes locally from our uh, yelp boilerplate application let's push our changes first so this is going to take all the changes on our local repository and it's going to push it to github so right now if we reload we can see okay nice we have all the boilerplate files and everything now remotely available this is pretty cool so now that we have that let's just start cleaning this project up because most of the stuff in here uh, we will not need that so let's just delete the entire content here let's just say okay this is test we are going to delete uh, this css file because we don't really need it we also don't need the logo so let's create delete the csv file let's delete the css file um, what else do we have yeah we also have an index.css file and an index.js file we don't really need the index.css file 
So let's delete this as well. And now I would say we should be pretty good. Hopefully now start our application. We should just see this text we just entered and uh, we got rid of the boilerplate stuff. Now one interesting thing here is, as you can see here, the title is still React App. So we might want to change that to something else. So let's go to our index.html and somewhere in here you will find title, yes. And you can name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to name it Belp, uh, just to not make it Yelp completely. Cool, so now we have the correct name here. And we're going to replace this icon later on. Nice. So we now have like quite some changes, right? Okay, so we removed all of that. So let's push this once we're done with setting up our CSS. So right now our application is pretty bare bones and we probably wanna include some styling, like just some CSS library to have some nice styling out of the box. And one of the nicest CSS libraries I personally know uh, is Bulma. It's also pretty popular, like it has over half a million downloads per month. So you can just go to bulma.io and it's purely CSS only. So there's no JavaScript involved. It's not messing with the visual DOM, nothing. Uh, it's just pure CSS and that's really nice. That's why a lot of people like it so much. Uh, okay, so how do we install that? We just go to documentation, uh, overview and then start. So it's a little bit hidden down here in this menu, but here you can see, okay, everything we have to do is we just have to run npm install Bulma. Okay, that shouldn't be an issue. So let's just say npm install Bulma. And this might also take quite a while. And also, let's also do step three, because later on we wanna have some icons, we wanna have uh, some font awesome icons because the Yelp application also has that. So we probably wanna include this in our index.html file. So what this will do is we're going to pull this from the font awesome uh, server. And with that, we can use these icon fonts. Uh, you're going to see later on why that is like quite useful. So let's go back and we can just, uh, yeah, maybe paste this right here. So that should be it. And our Bulma dependency is still downloading. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to resume it once it's done. Nice, so we're done here. We're done installing. So let's see what we have. Yeah, so we changed our package.json. Yes, because we installed some uh, dependencies our index.html file and we deleted a couple of files. So that's all nice. Let's just push the changes that we have uh, locally to our remote repository right now. So we're just going to say git add a. So we wanna push all the changes uh, we have. And uh, let's say commit, oops, uh, dash m, let's say clean up project. And then we're going to say uh, git push. So with this git commit, we kind of committed our changes locally. And with this git push, we also pushed it to a remote repository. And if we go here and reload, you can see, cool, we have two commits. So everything is fine. So that's it for this video. Uh, we now did the setup for our React application. We installed Bulma and we cleaned our project. That's a pretty good start. Let's continue in the next video and let's just break down the Yelp front end and see what components we need to develop.